This is Guardian Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. From what the I may find out, certain people not like me. Everyone got us bag of thing now. Makes true me, I do it like Nike. But me not fear no guy now. No matter how hard them must fight me. Me just a go and do me thing now. Me just a do it like Nike. 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 Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, ESC Distributors Limited, Five Threads, First Caribbean Bank, Fun Foods Wholesale, the IAAF World Relays Bahamas, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's and Games, and Tropical Gyros. Plus me and the cube and a link up, rose gold for the cube and the ring up. From what day you may find out, certain people don't like me. Everyone talk a smack of thing now. Big straw me, I do it like Nike. But me not fear no guy now. No matter how hard they must fight me. Me just a go and do me thing now. Me just a do it like Nike. 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 If I tell you the truth, if I were you, then me probably woulda like me neither. Fresh to the town, born again, them said the flow and godly, my mind need Jesus. Girls call cookies when my mind need river. Hell, when my frost, they can't stand me neither. Game excellent, point blank, tell the truth. Police never miss the chin like a Chinese teacher. Yeah, every bad mind fraud, them is this them parents. You got it locked and loaded to the Friday, April 12th edition of Talking Heads. You point one company right up until 6 p.m. Got Pearly in the studio early today. Dodgers must have lost. No, we didn't play yet. Oh, didn't play. Must have been late tonight. Must have got that 11 o'clock game. 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Uh, I, I knew it was something. But I got my good friend Matt Irving from Wall. I can see you, Matt. How Great are you? Here. Thanks so much. Always good Glad to see you, Glad to be here, and congratulations on 12 years for yeah, Guardian. Yeah, for Guardian, and, and yep. two years with, with this show. So, mm-hmm. yeah, we, you know, we're doing it, man. And, you know, you're all doing your thing continually, getting the word out, and always for better government. So, you know, you always have my support in that regard. And we appreciate it greatly. You always give us a space to, to talk about things that are important and going on in the community. Man, you wanted a few people that, that actually, you know, make sense when it comes to that. So I got to get you on. Depends but, on the day. We're yeah, see, right? It still applies late on a Friday. But so. what we got, what does all I got going on, you know, I, I know you got some, some things coming up, obviously, but I, if you want to get, you know, no, it's a, it, back up and refresh everybody, you know. Well, it's what, a, what Org is really into. Nordic, we can Nordic. do that too. If you have a pretty young lady in here, you leave it, you know, like. Well, I, 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 leave, I, I leave that up to Matt. Matt, Matt always serious. brings. Matt you, know, always you, brings know, uh, you, know, you know my words. And he was know, teeing yeah. me up. Yeah, yeah you know, Matt knows what to do, man. Whenever he brings his team on, he makes the introductions. <laughs> That's how I go. No. So just for those who, who would not know, um, the Organization for Responsible Governance is a Bahamian not-for-profit organization. Our mission is to promote the principles of good governance by education and engagement of our citizens and our private sector and our civil society, because when we do that, you create and foster more sustainable, more inclusive social and economic growth. Um, so in that space, we are really excited to be here because there's a lot of wonderful and powerful things that are going on at Org. Um, I am joined by Ariana Wells, who is an engagement manager and is doing an incredible, powerful work making sure that people understand their voices and their agency to make a difference in their communities. Um, Org does really four things. Um, we do policy advocacy. You'll hear, and we've talked on this show, and Naughty's talked a lot about things like freedom of information and anti-corruption and public procurement, laws that are transparent and make sure that the people's interests are reflected, and more importantly, that the people have the opportunity to understand how their money is being spent, how the decisions are being made on their behalf, so that they can make a qualified choice as to who they want to represent them, and are those folks doing a good job, maybe not doing the best job, what ideas and thoughts they have. But we know, based on things like freedom of information, which was passed in 2017 and still not enacted, that without the right active citizens, the best laws will just sit on the shelf. So we put a lot of energy into going out and doing grassroots community engagement 
all across the islands, all across our communities, sitting, talking, listening to folks in the community and helping them to understand not only how does government and governance work, what their role is, but also listening to their ideas about what the solutions they might need in their community. We also create bridges for both government and the citizens and private sector to talk and listen to each other. Listening is such a critical place. So if you go online at orgbahamas.com, there's a free policy review center where folks can learn about the upcoming policies and actually give your own ideas and thoughts. As long as it's not profane, we'll, we'll share it directly with government. Um, and finally, we realize that changing the world is, shouldn't be a lonely experience. So we want to make sure that we have a vibrant civil society. So we put a lot of capacity building and training and mobilizing to those other not-for-profits that are out there, the Rise Bahamas and the Lenda Hands and the Wana Luthras and the, the Friends of the Environment and f Families of All Murder Victims. They work. We want to make sure that we help to lift them up so that they can be sustainable. So that's a quick breadth of who org is and what we're doing these days. Cool. Now, you got something else big coming up too, right? So Young leaders, that's, that's always what I like to hear. <laughs> so what, what, again, you know, uh, there is that, that theory that if you want to actually make a change, you, you get to people while they're still on the vine. So focusing on the youth and helping them to be able to prepare for this particularly complex world we've left them uh, <laughs> is, is part of our, of our focus. And so okay. Ariana and, and Steve, Stefan Evans, who we all know uh, is our assistant director, have been working on a few really interesting projects. So, Ariana, you want to give them a quick heads up? Good afternoon, everyone. Thank Hi. you so much for having us on the show. And Matt, thank you for that introduction. It's always so wonderful to hear um, you speak about the work that we do at org, because sometimes working in engagement, I get so lost in the projects that I forget <laughs> that there are so many things that's always happening at org and things that are just super impactful <clears throat> to so many people. But um, specific to the things that we're working on and engagement at org. Um, Before you, can you tell us what engagement is? So but when you said that, I was looking like, wait, hold on, I already need to get married. <laughs> uh, no, so I'm at org. And essentially, my job is to work in outreach. Okay. So I reach out to citizens, communities, school outreach. Um, we deal with, as Matt was explaining, a lot of different nonprofits. So my job is to communicate with all of them and kind okay. of like um, involve them in the work that we're doing at org. And engage also, them. yes, <laughs> to engage them, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, but a we lot don't do of, the ceremony in the ring, but we'll do all the rest I of got the you. stuff. I gotcha. Listen, don't put that on. Me too early now. <laughs> but we have some really exciting programs running at org right now. One of them is the Plastic Tide Turners Plastic Challenge, which is the world's largest youth-led initiative that's aimed at fighting plastic pollution. So org is actually the implementing team for that project here in the Bahamas. And we're hosting a pitch night, which is geared towards students in grade 10 through 12, where they'll have the opportunity to pitch ideas on how they would fight plastic in their schools and communities. And they have the chance to win 500 dollars to implement their project in their school or community and we're actually selecting three winners on may 10th is the pitch night and the deadline for submission is april 19th so if you're in grade 10 or 12 or if you have a student or child that's in grade 10 or 12 and is interested in fighting plastic pollution in their school or community you can have them sign up at orgbahamas.com slash plastic challenge and this is a, a great opportunity to get uh, the youth involved and give them a meaningful experience, as well as bring something tangible, cash, back to their school so that they can do a real based community, a real community based project. Um, Naughty, I do have to apologize. We would have asked you to be on the panel, but I think that's a Joker's wild night. So I don't think I. <laughs> yeah, my, I made the exception. Next time, let me know. Okay. But a, lot, right. a lot of people, and, and, and I like the, pro, the project because I've taken a little interest. Knowing a lot, a lot of people don't understand just how plastics are affecting the environment today. Um, one time I read there's a, a island in the state of Texas right. in the Pacific Ocean. Well, and we, they've moved t millions of tons already and hasn't even dented it. So when we talk about sustainability, uh, one of the things that, that we write, try and make that, make that word make sense is it's about thinking long term. Yeah. And so when you think about kind of single-use plastics, that is the, the definition of a short-term need. I got, I got to use a straw. I got to put a bag together. And, and while org is not uh, specifically an environmental organization, what we do want is the opportunity for youth to get a chance to start to be a part of this longer-term, more sustainable thinking. So um, the Tide Turners Initiative, which, which uh, to give uh, credit, was a program that we've seen in the Bahamas before, the, the Boy Scouts of America 
America has done some work in that space. We're now made aware. Um, but it's being used across the Caribbean. It's being used across the world. Everyone is following this thing. And so this gives our, our youth here a chance to also see that they could be part of something global. Okay. And that's powerful. It is. Sure is. So <clears throat> any other events lined up? I know you got the, the, the young leaders, which is important, which is good, and, and developing those guys. But any other org-related uh, initiatives? So we haven't left the youth corner quite yet because okay. we actually have a, a new initiative that's working in the space of what we are calling as... Uh, I think uh, citizen awareness okay. is, is really is really the, the central theme. Um, so we're working on a toolkit that's called Be Clear Bahamas. And essentially what this toolkit is going to do is help to build capacity for young people to make decisions. And essentially we're helping students to... Um, understand the principles of transparency and ethics and accountability. Um, and we're running this program now over the course of 10 weeks with okay. the Leadership Academy. Year 12 will take part um, in understanding all of these different principles, and then they will assess a budget that was put together by the New Providence Ecology Park, okay. and they will make recommendations based on that budget. Interesting. Okay. What we know is that where rubber meets the road is where money is, and of and we and we also know that that climate change is something that particularly kids in the Bahamas are gonna have to deal with for a long time. Yes. So giving them the tools is crucial. If if you if you want somebody to win at a game, they need to know the rules. They need to know how they can play. They need to know all of that. So this project, which is is really the first of its kind here in the Bahamas, is is giving our youth a chance to get on the board early so that they can start to understand, hey, when we hear those elected officials talking about blank, 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 how, that, yeah. how, how is that going to play out? If, if we want to see that there's investment in adapting to climate change, then we need to know what are the basic ways you can find out that information. So this is, this is exciting. And we're going to be learning along with the kids because it's the first time it's been done in the Bahamas. I would think so. And, and considering that a lot of times the politicians use these words, transparency, accountability, the, the the book definition or the dictionary definition of it, it somewhat has a different political definition. Mm -hmm. And it's good to teach these kids the understanding so they can hold not only their politicians but others accountable right. and transparent of what's happening because at the end of the day, it affects them in the long run. Because It does, and, and, that, and that's fundamentally why we do citizen engagement because what we've known is from, from independence to now – that civic muscle, right, mm -hmm. has started to decline a bit. We haven't been to the gym as much as we yeah, need we to. Yeah, we don't see. Yeah, that's right? true. Yeah. So giving folks a chance to see how their, how their roles, their voices can make a difference and they can be empowered through information is really crucial. And we, and we do it with our youth. We do it with our, with our uh, folks in the community. We do it with uh, marginalized communities. We also do it with our civil society organizations. And, and that's another area that we're about to um, get underway very shortly. Um, we've been able to be supported by the Bahamas Protected uh, Areas Fund, as well as the Global Environment Fund, to do a specific level of training for not-for-profit organizations that are working in the environmental space, that are working towards climate change adaptation, that are working towards disaster risk management or preparation. All of these folks that are so on the line and need and have crucial roles to play, we're going to be providing training over the next seven to eight months on things like fundraising and advocacy and how you manage your budgets, how you develop your organizational structure, project management, all kinds of monitoring and evaluation to be sustainable. But among all of it, we're going to have this ongoing conversation about how do we collaborate? Okay. How do we partner? Because that's really the opportunity that I think sits in front of us for all of our organizations. If they can work better together, they can work better together with government. They can work better together with be the private effective. sector. They can have a bigger impact on their mission. Amen. Exactly. Makes sense. So, the, so, the, so those are some of the top line work uh, that we're doing. We always continue to keep things like freedom of information at the forefront. Um, That's still a big crime. I mean, every day on a daily, I get texted here you know, one way or another related yeah. to lack of information being put out by the, by this administration or information that's put out that people want to fact check for lack of a better word. 
right. want to follow up on, and yeah. now it, it, it's hard. Yeah. Well, and that's still a big, huge crime, Matt. And what's so interesting is freedom of information, which obviously uh, it should be Bahamians' rights since 2017, uh, is it brings a lot of opportunities. It does and should give you the capacity to be able to get information on issues you care about, on things that you might be concerned about, to clarify if something is valid or not valid. But what we also see is that freedom of information increases people's confidence in the system. It encourages them to get involved because they feel like the system can work for me. It also helps businesses and small businessmen folk or business folks to feel more confident that, hey, maybe I'm going to make an investment and take my little side gig and make it a real thing. Right. Because I feel like, you know what, there are government opportunities that I could bid for that it's not going to be about who you know. It's going to be about what you bring to the table and your ideas and, and your 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 merit, I guess, as they say. Yeah. So, so we really keep pressing this issue and we see uh, a lot of interest out there. When we're in the community, man, I'm at the grocery store, the pharmacy, in, in the parking lot, somebody's always coming up to me and saying, hey, keep fighting for that. That free Freedom of information is something we think ultimately what we're going to see is hopefully we, people start to talk to those people they would have elected and let them know, hey, we want to see this prioritized in the legislative agenda. We want to see this in our budget in the coming year so that it's, there's sufficient amount to be able to make it come to fruition. Because when we have it, not only are citizens going to be better informed, but government as they make their decisions is also going to be thinking, hey, I got to make sure that this decision holds up in the light of day. Gotcha. And that's why, you know, we've been waiting for for a long time that, that we've heard things like, and, and, and not too far to the, the realm of, of imagination or memory, this administration, we look back in the house, we look at the hedging situation, there was multiple stories BPL, on that, BPL, yeah. we still haven't got a concrete answer on Bermuda Gate, we still haven't got a, a concrete answer on a travel budget as to why the entourages are so big, so on and so forth. These are everyday questions people want to know. So I have to reiterate, Matt, I mean, please. Do not stop. We need yeah. a Freedom of Information Act. We're pushing forward and we're reaching out to all of our civil society partners, um, those chamber co chambers of commerce and the community, and we're encouraging them to also talk to their audiences and say, the most direct way to deal with this is you go ahead and let the folks know that you've elected that this is something you want. In, a, in, a, in the Westminster system, in a democratic system, public will is really designed to drive political will. And so we ought to make sure that that's, that's the mechanism we're doing. And this is this administration, the last administration, the administration before that. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of folks who have not necessarily moved this forward. We've seen movement forward. We've heard statements of, of uh, indicating that it will happen within the next two years. We're super excited, but we need to make sure that we keep up our push on this and we let folks know that this is something that the Bahamian people would like and need in, in, their, in their legislative set setup. All right, let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking heads. Yeah, blessing all the uh, to your partner, Matt uh, Pearly. Hey, bro. What's going on? You know, I, I, I wanted to lean on something Pearly had mentioned about the plastics, right? You know, the thing is, they have been linked to anti-gonadotrophic effects, sperm counts, et cetera, et cetera. And so they know about the bisphenol A, bisphenol B. And it's, it's, it's a farce of the recycling because not all of them can be recycled, right? So maybe I was saying to Matt, if the students can do the study, to find out the leachability, because I mean, in certain chemicals, we could find out that if you how how much chemicals is is released uh, with reused bottles and exposed to sunlight, et cetera, et cetera. We haven't done anything, and so a question to Matt and the rest. The thing mm -hmm. is, you said you, an environmental uh, organization for responsible government, but I, I'm saying with the overwhelming use of plausible deniability in governments, right? And the lack of data on anything environmentally sound enthusiasts. You cannot get information. The things that I can conceive that I... All right, my level of consciousness, is, 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 it is sickening for me because I, I know what is not being done. Mm -hmm. So we should discuss what's not, what's, what isn't in the news. You see, because uh, I'm looking at... Or even me with my little pea little brain, right? I can see that there's overdevelopment in Nassau. And there's need for decentralization, even and from an environmental standpoint... But I'm not hearing the environmentalists cry out. How many more subdivisions can Nassau take when we're flying all around talking about climate change? And except, I mean, it, it, and how much more development can we take for seven by 21 island? We're about to develop our own uh, our micro weather systems because you know, it seems to me they can't conceive that the concept of overdevelopment. And, and you, you live in Nassau, you're born here, you, know, 
you live your uh, 60 years coming up, and, and you see the overdevelopment, but nobody seems concerned. And uh, I wouldn't even talk about freedom of the information because, I mean, most people wouldn't read it anyhow, but it's still there for those who want to read it. You know, but, but plausible deniability seems to be their tactic. And obviously, somebody, has, well, what's the point if there's no, there's no consequences of lying to the behemoth people? Then it's blatant and clear and over it. And, and, I, and I think, thank you, and, and I think you, you, you asked a stuff. lot. <laughs> you asked a, you asked well, a lot. One thing about 52, you give you, you, give you <laughs> a, a lot in that life. question. So to start with where you started, uh, this project is really about helping kids to get start getting involved. And, and ultimately, the hope is that that leads to them thinking in the way that you're thinking. What does this mean? What are the real circumstances? How do I get that information? How do I make solutions that are based on uh, the facts we have, but also help us to sustain the kind of progress that's maybe been made. The good news, I will say, is that there are some incredibly dedicated environmentalists, particularly in the not-for-profit sector, that are working on a lot of these issues, whether they be Brief or they be the BNT or whether they be uh, Re-Earth or um, you know Friends of the Environment Institute. We've got the the Cape Luther Institute, and all of those folks and and more folks in UB are working to understand this. Um, the environment is not, as, as, you, as you point out, is not as easy for them to get access to information. It's not as easy to do the research as we need to be. But we know that, crucially, if those, if those corals and those mangroves uh, go, we're in a much, much worse space than, than, uh, than, than, than we would ever hope. So, so our real goal is, how do we fix the immediate issues? Our solution, we think, is to start and look at the long-term uh, sustainable solutions. And in doing so, that's why we're reaching out and connecting with youth at this level. But hopefully that they, they, they understand and start to see from your advocacy, some of the other information that's out there, that this can't just sit as it is now and it has to be changed. Early, you got anything that, that comes to mind that pops up? No, I... <laughs> Hold on. This guy says it all. Yeah, I, no, I, I guess. I, I see you. Know, I, I know you, you might have one or two. No, I, I, no I've been fascinated by it. I'm, I'm anxious to find out how the, up, the two programs go, because I'm always interested in knowing that we try to teach youth and get youth more involved. As a person who watches politics, not enough young people are being involved. And I think it's not because they're interested. I think the interest is not there because they're not, they don't care to understand or, not be, or don't understand and for lack of a better terminology, how the game is played. So I, I, I think it's admirable, particularly the second program, where they, you're teaching them. I think that's good, and hopefully we'll get more. So I'd like to know how it turns out after the end of the, the period. Well, I'll be sure to keep you updated. But I have to say the beautiful thing about the Plastic Tide Turners Initiative is that it came equipped with a toolkit that we then took and adapted into a presentation that we went around to different schools okay. and delivered to the kids. Wonderful. So we were able to teach them about the effects that single-use plastics are actually having um, on us as a country. Yeah. And we also had this activity where we audited our plastic footprints. So the kids got to actually see, well, how often am I using a straw or a plastic cup on a daily basis or on a weekly basis and they were able to really um, understand like hey this is something that's a part of my everyday life and this is something that doesn't necessarily need to be because there are other options yes and I think when when the country went non-plastic I mm -hmm. think a lot of people opposed to it because not because they didn't yeah because they didn't understand what it was all about it was more of an inconvenience to them right. than anything else and I think by educating and showing people why are we doing this? And I tell every opportunity I get, I tell people about this island of plastic that's bigger than the state of Texas. Right, right. I, and, you know. and that's the circumstances we see. Um, one principal belief that org has is that consultation is important. And not just being asked after the fact, but talking to folks earlier on, yeah. like at a formative stage. So we see a couple of different initiatives that have been put forward that are really you know, important things. The plastics ban was pushed and pushed by some folks we know and, and really uh, a dedicated thing. But the work ahead of time to get folks to understand, to buy in, to, to feel like this is part of their solution – uh, is is something that we see critically across the board. We okay. we see it with pieces of policy. Yeah. We see it with new developments or programs. The more folks are brought in, the people who are going to be most affected, the earlier, the more that government can make decisions with the right information, the more people that have uh, a confidence that a policy or a program that's put forward is and that they buy into. And you see greater things like paying your taxes and more compliance and people adhering to you know more environmental laws, things like that. So, so part of the process here is bringing this to kids at a stage where they're going to see it 
own it, some work on it, and then hopefully move forward on doing more advocacy and, and substantial change. Okay. Super. Super duper. Now, how can folks, um, I got a couple of texts coming in here, Matt, about uh, joining org, or how can they get org if they want to stay, you know, newsletters or updates, emails, monthly correspondence, so on and so forth. So uh, folks can follow us on social media. You can check us out at Org Bahamas on Facebook, as well as on LinkedIn, as well as on Instagram, uh, I think even Twitter. Um, and you can uh, check us out on our website, which is orgbahamas.com, where you can sign up, join. So make sure you get our monthly newsletter, get all the information as it comes out. Uh, find out about new opportunities for you to get involved in programs like like the ones that Ariana described. Um, if you're old school like me and you want to give us a call, you can do that too. So you can call us at 323-0041. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, just to sp speak again, Org Bahamas is a not-for-profit. We are uh, dependent upon the support of volunteers, the support of donors. Um, we actually have a, an online campaign going on right now. And today, if anybody wants to go on uh, to orgbahamas.com uh, and donate, uh, your gifts, if you make it online, will be matched up to 50 bucks today by uh, Global Giving. So we've been doing a, 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 real, a real push to make sure. And that fu those funds go directly to support the kind of empowerment programs that Ariana and Stefan have been, uh, have been pushing out in our programs, okay. in, our, in our communities, rather. Okay. Uh, naughty great show as usual. Please let Matt know the Freedom of Information Act will never happen. It's counterproductive for politicians. So I agree. <laughs> I agree with that statement. If, yeah, you leave so it to, if you leave it to politicians, then absolutely. I mean, the, 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 that act is going to have a harder implication on those in government than it necessarily will bill on the public. But the interest in the public has got to be stated. It's got to be specific. If it's a matter of they will never let it happen, then you're forgetting that there's power in the people. And, and you can absolutely make it happen. Um, we, I had an amazing experience talking to someone who was part of the India right to information movement. And think about, you know, we're 400,000. They're so many more than that <laughs> in so many different places. And they have an active and vibrant right to uh, access to information law. It came not from the hoity-toity elites. It not came, didn't come from the intellectuals. It didn't come from an organized business community. It came from those people that are the poorest in India. And when you talk about poor in India, that's a whole other level of poor. And when you, I had a chance to talk to some of the folks, and their whole principle was, hey, it's our money, so we should know how it's being spent. Yes. It's our, and if you think about that for our own selves, if you gave your, you know, your, your child, your, your, your partner, your spouse, a couple of bucks or 20 bucks to go to the store and get a, and get a, you know, a thing of bread, and they came back with no money left, no receipt, maybe not even the bread, you'd have some questions. Yes. Well, the monies that you're paying for taxes are much more than what it costs for a loaf of bread. So if we think about it, this is your information, but it's also your issue. If you want this to happen, absolutely, you have the power to make it happen. Exactly. All right, Matt. You know, I always got to give you a rough one. I always got to give you a credit <laughs> right. here and there. All right. And we got a call. They're coming to you real quick, caller. Uh, Naughty, who or what gave Org the... the uh, authority to do the work that it's doing. Where did Matt Aubrey come from? Who gives him and his team their mandate? Or better yet, who funds ORG? So ORG is a, a not-for-profit. Before you get into that. Yes. Mr. Mitchell, are you listening to the show on the down low again? <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. No, it's an important question. Uh, ORG as a not-for-profit is funded by a few different sources. Primarily, it's foundations and primarily local foundations. So things that have been established to achieve a certain purpose. Um, we do get some funds from individuals and some funds from local corporations. Uh, the, the, the work that we do is very direct uh, related to the funds that we get. There's no political uh, connections or ties in our org or our board or any of our structures. Um, we're really specific about the monies that we get. We try and vet that. You actually can check out on orgbahamas.com if you want to see our most recent financials and our financial plan, all that information is there. Um, we're driven by a volunteer board, like every registered not-for-profit. You can also find out who our board members are. Uh, we're super proud. Uh, Galen Saunders, 
uh, is our chair right now and and uh, driving our. Well, there our you go, forward. man. That's, that's good people right there, right? Really, he's very really good people. Got me yes. started in the business very, very, very years ago, man. Yeah. Very good friend. And and not, uh, a, not a mammy dolphin, a fiction <laughs> I say good man, right? I did say that. Come on. I'm gonna let Galen talk about his football choices on his own, but <laughs> um, but uh, we are a team of five folks. Uh, it's myself and uh, Stefan and Ariana, Vanessa, and we're actually getting some support from uh, Ashley Roll. In, in Grand Bahama, so we're not even located just solely in Nassau. Um, we were started eight years ago when there was a need to push for freedom of information and fiscal responsibility once the VAT initiative was passed. And so we started at that point, and it's been eight years of continuing to grow that work. Um, we have the same, uh, I guess, responsibility as every not-for-profit. So we got to make sure that if anybody, if government wants to look at our books, they can look at our books. We have to make sure that we're well run and managed appropriately. We have bylaws and policies that drive what we do to ensure that there's no conflict of interest or that we're not um, politically driven or, or favoring one party versus the other. And more importantly, we, we bind ourselves to values that say we believe that we want to focus on things that are actionable, not aspirational. We want to focus and spend our time on things that can and will happen. We want to make sure that things that we work on are consensus-based. It doesn't make sense that one group can say we have the answers for all. The things we talk about are based on uh, research and means-tested, things that not only work globally, but things that work locally. So when we benchmark a law or we put forward information, we're drawing on things that folks around us are telling us. We're using their ideas, their thoughts, to be able to mobilize folks around these issues. Our, our playbook is pretty much the same <laughs> across the board. We talk about the importance of transparency, accountability, integrity, and involvement of citizens, the private sector, and civil society. Because when they're involved, then they not only counterbalance, but more importantly, they complement what government brings to the table. Even government, to its own point, says they can't do it all. So we have to help people to find their voices, find their, their strengths, figure out what, you know, how they can get involved in a meaningful way, and then come together with solutions that all of us can believe in. Let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking heads. Talking heads. All right, Carl, if you want to hold too long, you can call us back. You know, I get really bigoted with these calls. You know, we put you on hold for a reason. I don't mean we come to you right away. Sometimes I, you got to hold and listen. I keep telling them, be a little wordy. Give us a break. We can, you can get there. My goodness. <laughs> they made it run out of minutes, though. Yeah, for real. Okay. But um, <clears throat> we'll give them a chance to chime back on it. Yeah, she wants to burst in laughter so bad. She likes <laughs> all of it. No, and, but, but, then you work with a, a comedian. From Jokers, it kind of rubs off every so often. You know? No, it doesn't, because I heard <laughs> I'm not quite, I heard the I'm one or two you attempted funny. today, and I was like, <laughs> no, as funny as no don't tell me, don't, 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 don't claim me that I taught you them jokes. <laughs> no, 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 but as long as Matt laughs, I feel pretty good, you know? <laughs> Matt will laugh at anything, man. He's, he's, he's a, you know, he's a diplomat. He knows how to deal with things, man. Make friends and influence people. <laughs> but um, Matt, like I said, uh, we got to get to the break, but I appreciate mm -hmm. you stopping by, as always. You know, Thank me, you Goss so has two cars off, so whatever else you got to yeah, get out there. Not, you know, let us know. And the last time you guys were here, you know, I, I said we got to make it a, make it a plan to get you at least once a month, twice mm -hmm. a month, so you guys get it and chop it up. Well, I want to make and, a and shameless plug. I yeah. do have Thursdays alone, you know. So you know, you, you know, you know, you we know. are we, we can are link up always. at least once in the blue moon, you know. And you know, see now I got that that call from my old colleague from Shirley Street. I, you know, <laughs> we'd already lined that up. I was like, all right, let's make it happen. <laughs> we are always so I'm sure that let you know. Yes, and we got, it's not just me, we got a talented team, and they sure. all have stuff to say sure. and add uh, in their own right. So we will make it a once a month uh, yeah, it's piece. It's always good to talk about Anytime things, you want yeah. us on a Thursday, Pearly, we are all, uh, okay, cool. always there. Right. There you go, there Pearly, there you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, man, we're going to get to the break. We appreciate you stopping by, man. Thank and, you. and as always, and I appreciate you guys, you know, doing what you do. And, and let's, let's keep fighting for that Freedom of Information Act, man. Absolutely. My Absolutely. sleeves don't be on, bro. I already take it off and get down to the wife beater, you know? Let's go. Let's make it happen. Well, and that's the one thing I also want to just say while we're here is you have created spaces where you get a lot more 
variety of discussion. You yes. get people that are coming from different sides. You're hearing different sides of the parties. That's really important. I think we don't see enough opportunities where people feel comfortable to put forward their ideas. The whole key, what we want to do is make sure that there are now spaces where those ideas can actually contribute to something that moves forward. Amen. There you go. Good stuff, Amen. man. Super Thank stuff. you. Always appreciate you all stopping by. All right, let's get to the break, Mr. Producer. Flip side of the break, we'll go to the news. Flip side of the news, Probably now I'll be talking sports in the 5 o'clock hour. Keep it right where you got it. The Friday, April 12th edition of Talking Nets continues right after that. Amen. Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at CancerCenter.com. Enjoy the flavors of summer with a mega-sized KFC combo and get a secret code for a chance to win. KFC and Pepsi is giving away daily beach bundles of a KFC bag packed with KFC shades, a bucket of 25 KFC whole wings, and a 2-liter Pepsi, plus a weekly cash prize of $1,000. Whether it's original recipe, spicy, or barbecue, get your favorite KFC combo today and mega-size your summer fun. KFC Nassau, it's mega finger licking good. John Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. You will find what you're looking for among the growing collection of classic and trendy styles with new arrivals every week. John's covers the whole family and has great prices, helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience shopping with us will be time well spent. Shop with us online at www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on into John's located on Rosetta Street in Palmdale and Carmichael Road West. John's, we put fashion at your feet. Nice to meet you, Jazz. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm an independent 27-year-old manager who wants her own home with her own rules. Sounds good. I'll help you get there. We see you, the go-getter, with big plans, and we've been keeping you in mind. Follow your goal home with a mortgage from CIBC Caribbean, and don't bother about your home insurance, as we'll help with that and more. Visit CIBCFCIB.com forward slash inspired home for more info. Conditions apply. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your gal. Come witness history in the making at the 2024 World Athletic Relays Chase the Sun, Paradise to Paris, happening here in Nassau, Bahamas. Hundreds of the best runners from more than 40 countries will compete for their place in the 2024 Paris Olympics, May 4th and 5th at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. Get your tickets early at worldrelaysbahamas24.org or at the Andre Rogers Baseball Stadium box office. Play with Island Games, we making dreams come true. Play with Island Games, we paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market, you get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games, we put in Bahamian's voice, guaranteed to pay. Island Games, we like them mother jokers, we've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island Games, we can make your dreams come true. We play in with Island Games. Living with a neurological condition shouldn't define you. At Cleveland Clinic in Florida, we do whatever it takes to make life better today while discovering new treatments for a brighter tomorrow. From epilepsy management to specialized spine care and brain tumor surgery, we're delivering world-class neurology care for the day-to-day, for the days you live for, for every care in the world. Visit clevelandclinicflorida.org slash Caribbean. Attention ice cream lovers. Are you ready to elevate your springtime indulgence and taste of luxury with haagen For a limited time only, treat yourself to the quality of haagen ice cream for just $8.99 per pint. Yes, you heard that right. Indulge in the finest flavors without breaking the bank. This exclusive offer is available at all Lickety Split and Super Value locations. Experience the premium quality of haagen at an unbeatable price. Spring has never tasted this good. 
all those loans I had were so overwhelming. Fidelity's debt consolidation loan combined all my loan payments into one easy payment with a built-in savings plan that pays me unbeatable interest. It's time to make that move to Fidelity. Call 356-7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, ESC Distributors Limited, Fine Threads, First Caribbean Bank, Fun Foods Wholesale, the IAAF World Relays Bahamas, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, and Tropical Gyros. Back at you on the Friday, April 12th edition of Talking Heads. Your boy, Naughty your Company, uh, along with Pearly, Earl of Pearl, right up until 6 p.m. Talking sports this hour. Lots of sports to talk about going into the weekend, Pearly. Lots, lots. Masters started yesterday. Yeah, man. Let me get today in sports history out of the way. All brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Don't forget, happy hour going on at Naughty Johnny's right now, 5 to 7 p.m. Definitely want to check that out. Well worth the trip out there to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza. I can make it. Yeah, you. I know you can make it. Food, my brother. <laughs> and on this day, not much happened on April 12th. 1877, a catcher's mask was used in a baseball game for the first time by James Alexander Ting. 2004, the Philadelphia Phillies played their first game at Citizens Bank Park. Caller, I see you. We'll get to you in a second. 2004, Barry Bonds of the Giants. San Francisco Giants hit his 660th home run to tie Willie Mays for third on baseball's all-time career list. Okay. 2007, the Dallas Stars and Vancouver Canucks played 138 minutes and six seconds before the Canucks were able to score an overtime goal and win the game. You know, they're originally known the Minnesota North Stars. Correct. It was the uh, sixth longest game in NHL history. Sports quote of the day, before you can win a game, you have to not lose it, not to lose it. Chuck Knowles, Chuck Knowles, ex-Pittsburgh Steel head coach, four-time Super Bowl champ. All right, let's go to the phone lines. Talking heads. Hey, Naughty, what's up, Pearly? Hey, what's hey, going on, mystery? Hey, bro. Everything is beautiful, man. Hey, Pearlie. Yes, sir. So your boy Otani is now considered vindicated, eh? Well, the federal government, the, the FBI um, vindicated him. Not me, not you, the FBI. So, yeah, I think he's vindicated. Well, well that's what I'm saying. I yeah. didn't say you I, vindicated I, I, him. I heard the tone of, I heard Listen, a tone of sarcasm just, in I'm, your voice. I'm calling you to clear you. Okay, okay, good, good man. Good you, man. You're cleared. You Thank can't you. vindicate him. I can't vindicate him. That's true. And but 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 what what I find so strange though, mm-hmm. I think it was six million dollars this boy stole from him. Sixteen million. Sixteen million. That yeah. is unbelievable. How could well, he got a lot of money? Uh, I had a brother make seventy million a year from the Dodgers. That's not his endorsements. <laughs> He's good for over a hundred million a year. One hundred and twenty-seven million. There you go. There you go. Okay. One hundred twenty-seven. That is unbelievable, though. There you go. And then he was betting, but he was betting on baseball. Well, yeah, he doesn't bet on. I think he didn't bet on sports or, or not on baseball for sure. 
He can do some time. Yeah, he he said his he, 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 a statement said, "Oh, my life is done. I'm done." So, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Well, so, you, you know, know you now, try to he, trust people and you try to work with them, and they think yeah, but he got to put some people. He got to put some people in place to to, to prevent that. In oh, the that's future, been though. done. That's been done. He has he has a a, 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 a business advisor. He has a security team that has. Short this yeah, up. but he, and, need, he needs someone to watch the business advisor now. Yeah, that little young wife he got there, she's sharp. Sharp as a tack. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. Though. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. You know what? And, you know, it, it, it's amazing. You come into the, you come into America, you're, the language barrier, you don't, people don't really understand how much that is. So everything you look at on the computer, everything is in English. Everything. Everything. Yeah. So you trusting this guy to do things. So, you know, I let him they transfer this money to my wife's account, transfer this money to mom's account. So he's done that for you a couple of times. He got your your yeah. your, your, your user, your PIN number, and he started transferring for himself, and you're not paying. Yeah. Yeah, come on, you're not paying attention yeah. to that like that. Yeah, he ain't making yen now. He's making that Yankee currency. Yeah, so he ain't paying attention to it like that. And so when you he come down to it. making that big money. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, I'm, I'm not making an excuse for him. It's dumb to allow that to happen. You know, you got that kind of mm-hmm. money. You should have put the things in place. But at times, you come to trust people who guide you like that. So Yeah, but a, that, that kind of money, making that kind of money could cause, uh, could cause people to lose focus, you know. You know he's learned. He's learned. Not on the field, though. He's been hitting the cover off the ball. And, and I, I guess since he, and, you know, he may have found out a few days ago that he's been vindicated. So you can see there's a sense of relief off him. He's, he's looser. You know, the, you know, the Dodgers do a bunch of play around and stuff, and he's laughing a lot more and all that. So I think, I think he's relieved, and I think the pressure's off his shoulder. He only can, he only can start seeing greater and better things. So why him. is it that he's not going to play for a year? He's not going to pitch. He had surgery on his shoulder. He's playing. He's batting. He's batting. He's playing DH. Huh? He's playing DH. Okay. Okay. So he's playing. He's playing DH. He's going to play a little outfield later in the season, and then mm-hmm. he'll be back on the mound next year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good okay. stuff. Yeah. All right, James. You all okay. have a good one. That's all, all I right. call you all on. All right, all right Mystery. Have a good weekend, man. All right. You too. Be safe, bro. All right, Pearly. Let's slide, uh, you know, into the local scene. All yep. brought you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. Sack takes charge at Nationals. Say it again. I, I, say it again. Uh, you, Sack takes charge at okay. Nationals. No, that's all right. Good stuff, man. Big Red Machine need five of the eight divisions. It's just normal. <laughs> Oh, you're that Probably guy. Probably win six. You are, you are that guy. Uh, good article on uh, Devin Charlton in today's Guardian. Devin, yes. master of her feet, fate, and soul. Yep. She can get that $50,000. She's going to get that fifty grand. And the championships are set for the New Providence Volleyball Association. Okay. The undefeated Caribbean Gas Panthers will go after a fourth straight New Providence Volleyball Association women's title when the NPVA Championship Series gets underway at 3.30 p.m. at the D.W. Davis Gymnasium on Sunday. So game one on Sunday. All right. Okay. We got a full schedule of baseball going on over the weekend as well. Okay. Soccer as well. So okay. be sure to get out there and support these youngsters doing their thing. Yeah, man. You All know, right. tomorrow morning, my grandson is playing. He, he goes to Tambly, and they're playing kick soccer tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Well, that's so. why you could do in soccer is kick it. If you touch yeah. it, it's a problem. I'm going to go and watch my grandson play. So there you, you go. Know. All right. Hey, Taylor's going to represent Grandpa. And Taylor's going to be like, oh, Jesus, why are you hearing on the sideline like that? <laughs> oh, you and know, he's that you dude, know, why doesn't he you, stop? You know, you know. I know how that is. Let's go to the phone line. <laughs> Talking heads. What's up, Polly Naughty? How you doing? Hey, what's going on, St. Pete? What's, what's going up? on? What's up, kid? What's up? What's up? It's a Friday evening. And you're on the bridge. I'm tired of working. <laughs> Are you going to Orlando? Hey, did, did, hey look, I'm, I'm in the bird, man. Hey, did, did, did Tiger made the cut, man? No, he got, he got, yeah. I don't know if he's played a second round yet. I think he's in the middle of a second round right now. But yo, a lot of people be hating on him, boy. But you know what I'm saying? Tiger made the cut here, and he played on the weekend. The ratings go up, you know what I'm saying? This even, is. They say even, you know. Hey, they be hating. If Tiger made the cut, Normal people who don't watch, don't watch. The ratings goes up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know why they're, you know, crazy, man. Well, he's, 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 one, he's one over, so he's if, if, if he would make the cut of it. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, he would make the cut because he's one over right now. And, and, and the, 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 leader, the leader is seven, the leader's under, uh, pass, seven under. Man, that brother fought so many young people to, to take up golf, man, you know what I'm saying? And then even like I say, sometimes just for his appearance, he he, he get more money than some of the guys who, who you know, who may even make the cut. You know what I'm saying? He he get they they pay him like a million dollars just appearance fee sometimes. Yeah, he, so, he yeah he, he 
He's doing all right, you know, considering where Tiger is and the injuries come from. He was one over yesterday. He was even part of day. So he, I think he yeah. makes the cut because I mean, that's the only puts. I think the cut is 10. Um, yeah. So, um, so I think he's going to be fine. He's in. He's, I, I would put my head on the on the block and say he's made the cut. Um, so good. It'll be yeah. good to see him play all weekend. So people want to see him play, you know. Yeah. And ESPN, yo, yo, man, yeah. ESPN followed all eighteen of his, uh, all the whole eighteen rounds that he played. Yeah, everybody. 18, sorry, you know, eighteen old. Sorry, everybody made money of Tiger. Everybody made money of Tiger. Hey, those those networks, they 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 love when Tiger made the cut, man, because you yeah. know their ratings goes up too. You know what I'm saying? But you know, ready for this player, well, man. Just, Lakers, just, St. Petersburg, Lakers. just just to say it, I'm, I'm just pulled it up. Woods is to set new Masters record with 24th straight made cut. Wow. He's, he's tied for 25th. Wow, he's tied for 25th, but he's made the cut 24 straight years at the Masters. So, And the Masters wow. is the, the creme letter creme of, of any <laughs> golf tournament. Boy, look at hey, So and, anything could happen now with the weekend now. He, he could be, you know, if he played good, good golf, he could, he could be up there, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a great sport. Love but it. ready for this, ready for the, for this for this playoff, man. You know, ready for this playing, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, you know that. It, it, you know what's interesting. <laughs> well, let me just go ahead right about now and said I told you all so, and I told you all this for the Lakers was to be. But anyway, go ahead. Well, you know, I, I, I want to see what the Heat can do. All y'all Heat fans, y'all suck, man. I, I, I want to start a, I want to start a Friday war. <laughs> Man, don't get, don't, don't get them, don't, don't get them sheet heads started. Mystery, they're already calling. Don't let Muff, Muff, Muff can get Muff you. can come for you now. Muff yeah, can call in and show order. Come on, Muff, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mystery, y'all suck. You and Muff, y'all suck. <laughs> Boy, look here. <laughs> All right, man, y'all have a good weekend. All right, you man, too, man, safe. Be up. safe. Enjoy your weekend, man. Yeah, send me a call. Give me a case of call. Collect, man. Hold on. All right. Go to the airport. <laughs> go to the airport. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean. <laughs> well, the heat in a place. But, I mean, let's go, let's go to you. You really want to cuss out. Um, I, see, and, and even so. I mean, they, they are, they are, it is what it is. They're going to be in a play-in game. Which one we don't know yet. For the third time in six yeah, years. So that happens. That happens. All right? That is happening. And you and I both know that's not Laker basketball. Yeah, but... When Laker, when Lakers what? are playing their championship with the first, second, no, and third seed. But the problem is, ain't LeBron. Is everybody. Is, is the front office. Is all that. You got people in the Laker organization right now who want to, who want to, to, want to trade LeBron, trade AD, and, and, and free up some, some draft picks, free up some cap space and do it. But the big boys don't want to do it. But they need to do it. But they don't want to do it. Anyway, all right. No, no. I better you or I say that you know, but it's not all LeBron, because come on, it's not all him. It's AD has not been there when you need him. Yeah, you, you made the front office made some bad moves. You need just like I said, the, the, the six year incarnation. Yeah, but it's easy, be, yeah, we it's, haven't it's, done anything. It's easy that, to blame him. It's easy to blame him because that's the no, scapegoat. Probably, but I'm not easy to blame. Him, I want to, you forget six years ago. I said this was gonna happen. I'm not disputing. I, that. I didn't just jump up I'm yesterday and say this. I'm not disputing that, but it's still oh, not him. Only alone, and that, that's it. I don't want him there. Let's get that straight. His error, and this is his error. You gotta own it because he's the face. All, yeah, maybe maybe front office doing fool. Maybe, you know, other players doing fool. Maybe he did fool trying to be a GM in Costas. There are a lot of mitigating factors. Well, but he's got to own it. No, I, I think I think the team got to own it because we even might have made a mistake in hiring the coach we hired. Hey. Come on. So, you know. But once but again, to, you know, Le- LeBron on, lobbies to somebody. Le- and, then, and then when so it comes what, to what, coach, what would we uh, be saying right now if he was in the championship? But we're not. But but I. What would you have been saying if he's in the championship? I'd be quiet because you ought to be saying, "See, okay. you See, making so the, all so this the, noise." So, so the point is, but, but if since we're not, but and uh, we're in the in the play, and like I said, we were gonna be. I'm gonna run my mouth. Yeah, but the bottom line too is what you had used to seeing in the Lakers is what you got last year, Western Conference Finals. Hold on, you got the no, no, Western no, 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 Conference no, no. Finals. No matter stop. how they got there, did they or did not they play in the Western Pearly, Conference Finals last stop. year? Now, I Did won't, they, I won't uh, allow you to do it because I, I won't let you discredit yourself by doing it. In which way? You and I both know, and you are longer Laker than me. Lakers don't need no bubble bubble thing to play in a uh, back against the wall to, to, the, uh, to the championship, I'm not to just the conference me. finals. We're perennially, from Mike and time to the, to the Magic era and Kareem era to the Shaq and Kobe era. The, 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 see, you, left, you leave an era out. 
The Eddie Jones era. Well, Eddie Jones era. Uh, but even, even so, even though that era. It was worse than this era because we was a lot old team then. No, 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 stop. On the Eddie Jones, Shaq eras then, we were second and third seed. We just couldn't, couldn't. No, 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 we were a lot old team prior to Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones was a lot old pick. Yeah, I'm saying uh, that. That was after were, the blow up. No, we still were a lot old team. Okay, well, all I'm saying is, I'm not disputing what you're... And we need to go back to being a lotto team uh, now, jettison LeBron, jettison AD, uh, keep uh, the youth uh, movement, uh, and get uh, the picks uh, and the money. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me very carefully. I understand everything you say, and I agree with you. But I'm going to be I'm gonna be real. And again, the point on I'm trying to raise is, we're used to seeing the Lakers in the Western Conference Final, in the NBA Finals. As that one of the top be, seeds It as doesn't well. matter. We just... No, you see, you're putting the caveat there. I'm not putting the caveat. Look, we, look, look back have, at the history of time. We have come from... We have come from second or third and made it to the Western Conference Final. We've come from not having the best record in the NBA. Let me ask you this question. 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 As a long-time Laker fan, have you not seen it perennially more times than not, when we do make a playoff run, it is from the one, two, or three seed because we have qualified, we've won a division, See, and we've been in the playoffs ahead of time. We know that we are there. As a long-time Laker fan, I've seen it all. I've seen when Bill Walton embarrassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I've seen when we didn't make the playoffs in the 70s. When, when Bill Walton embarrassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? In the 78, Port, the 78 Portland Trailblazers. See, I, 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 I think I think I think the seventy eight Portland Trailblazers that one right. young Bahamian Michael Sweetbells Thompson was the was the was the big guy on. It doesn't matter the who's Walton on it. Off no, of no, a no, bit. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, I'm used to. I've been there when my Lakers were nothing. I've seen the ebb and flow, the valley and the hills of the Lakers. I'm seeing that. So in a long about there, you've seen them qualify from the one, two, and three spot. In, and lower. In, I'm not qualified. But, but, more, but more importantly, and, more, not, and maybe, you know, I don't check the numbers, and I, I, I'll go back and check the numbers to see how many times. But the they bottom, say, the government and off the bubble and off the pay, and apparently it's not like a basketball, whether you want to admit it or not. Yeah, whether it is or not, we did make it to the best. Then all right, let, let's go to the final. That's all that matters. Let's go to the final. Talking heads. Hey, look here, man. Just in Petersburg, talk without the Marlins beat up on the Yankees. I want him and now I can cut that. you. Now I can cut you. I was gonna let you run on, but yeah, now I can cut you. To the heat, tell him talk but how the Marlins beat up on the Yankees. <laughs> Muff, Muff, Muff was so happy to call yesterday to talk about that. Uh, I, and I tell him the eighth seed is still higher than the tenth seed. <laughs> hey, but look here, two or three night way. The Lakers in Golden State. Boy, is that tenth night? One and done, and when, it, and when it's one and done, I really get talk, Muff. Yes, boy, you ain't lying, boy. Well, anyway, we on the road. We going to Philly. We playing there on the road. I'm being back or not. We going to mash them up. Tuesday night because we, we going to beat the runs out these last two games. M- and mine, buddy, don't shoot them. your eye out in that one. <laughs> hey, buddy, you off, man. Muff, I can tell you this, Buddy, you off. I can tell you this. You don't want to play the sixes. Hey, Max, Nobody want to play the sixes right now. Maxi can all stupid. And be it. A Harris has come back. And uh, uh, that boy, boy, what the boy name with the bushy with the afro? With, with the left hand who said them three points? Jacquez? Huh? Ja- Jaime Jacquez or whatever his name is? No, man, the next one who played for the Sixers. Uh, who played for the Sixers? Uh, so with the afro, man, the boy who said all the trees and then slammed down and everything. Maxi? Huh? Maxi? Not Maxi. Maxi got the roots, man. The next one with the afro. With the Afro. Over Joby, over um No man, uh, uh, my boy favorite the Sixers man with the Afro. So okay. he start too. Who U- Ubre? Yes, yes, him, 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 yeah. That's what I trying to remember, Ubre. Yeah, he can on this super dude with the Sixers, so we got to watch it for him. Yeah. But then anyway, we can beat them. We can beat them, don't worry. You, right, see the boss, you, you see Boston how they play last night? That's how they can play all through the playoffs. Don't mind that. They did that 60 some games get to the end. Oh, but this is, start, uh, this, is start, this is start our journey from now to the finals. Okay. Y'all have a nice afternoon. Yeah, and don't call it this is my Yankees no more neither. <laughs> have a nice day. Talking heads. That's my job. Correct. Talking heads. Talking heads. All right, Carly, you can hit us back, man. I tell you, boy, you all, you all don't like being on hold, boy. You all want me to answer you all right away. But anyway, l- l- let me look at the Western Conference standings. I know, okay, you keep ducking baseball, but anyway. No, we can get the baseball no, no, now. We can get the baseball. I, 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 I see this call coming through, too. 
Lakers and, and the Warriors, 45 and 35. What? The, the only Lake, difference is the Lakers, the Warriors, and the Pelicans are tied for the same record. The, the, I mean, the Lakers, the Kings, and the Warriors are tied. The, the, for the, the Kings same have record. the outright tiebreaker over both. Outright tiebreaker. However, the the road to it, the Pelicans control who make this playoffs. The Pelicans got the the um, Kings tonight, and they get the Lakers on Sunday. If the Pelican, if the if the Lakers, if the guess who wins? If the Lakers win out, if the Lakers win out, they and nine. the Kings lose one, they'll be eight. They only got to win. They only. They only need the Lakers need to win two, and they only need the Kings to lose one game. Or and I think the Lakers got the tiebreaker over the Warriors. No, for for now. But if the Lakers lose that game to the Warriors, and that ten seed playing, yeah, you missed my point. Yeah, but the, I said if the Lakers win their last two games, and the Kings lose just one. If the Kings lose to the Pelicans tonight, and the Lakers win, and the Lakers will finish. Eight. Well, we got the Warriors, and then we got the Grizzlies and the Pelicans. The Grizzlies so, so the tonight. Grizzlies, we got the Grizzlies tonight, and the, and 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 the Pelicans. You, had, you lost to the Warriors already. Yeah. yeah so the, we got the, the Grizzlies, Grizzlies tonight, and then the Pelicans. And, the and if Pelicans, the Pelicans need that game, it's going to be tough. The Pelicans don't need it. They're in. Pelicans are already number seven. Or so seven. they can't move up no more, no less. Um. I don't. Let me double check this to be sure. I'm right. Okay, the, the Pelicans are, are at number six. They're already in. All right. Um, the Suns could catch them, but I think they have the tiebreaker on the Suns as well, if I remember. But correctly. hold on now. The Pelicans could actually catch the Mavericks. Uh, yeah. Because they're two behind. They win those two games, the Mavericks lose two, they end up tied. Uh, yeah. They could vote to the fifth, I'm just saying. They can, yes. All right, they can. So they the do Pelican, have something to play Pelican for somewhere. The Pelicans really just need to win tonight, and they're in at number six of Lockett. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking heads. Yeah, no, they really couldn't wait, man. Everything good, man. What you got, man? That was me on the line. Oh, what's happening, Skillaboo? Everything good. But listen, I hear you and Pearly. I won't get to the thing I'm right now, but I hear you and Pearly talking about the Lakers, uh, and they are winning and different things they got, right? Yeah. But, uh, Naughty. Well, he was trying to use some little history concerning the Lakers when it was just Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We used to get beat bad in the seven days from, from Boston and Portland, right? Yeah, but a, then but when, Magic came, yeah. when Magic came and helped out, uh, helped out uh, Kareem, that's when we really start. Flourishing, you know. And I'm, if, I, and, if I remember and, correctly, I think we came eighth in the 78 series, season or 77. I think we came eighth. Yeah, but and another thing is, remember now, Naughty, this, this is what you got to do. I, I listen, listen in, I listen in. I want to show you how about who I'll go. You remember with Kobe and Shark, Shark Tingham, right? Mm -hmm. Remember their, their, their little show of Dynasty, right? Yeah. You see, after Shark gone, right? You see what happened to us? Um, hold on. I, I saw what happened to us, and I also right. saw us come back it. and go to three straight finals and win two out of the three. But we did, no, so but we did some things. We brought Paul Gasol After and Shaq Bond. Correct. After and just Shaq how we Bond, jettisoned we the track, and we stayed and we built around a young Kobe, jettisoned LeBron, jettisoned no. AD, and built around a young Austin Reeves and Hachimura no. them. You can't no, believe Austin Reeves and Hachimura would be the face of the Lakers. Come on, we can't be serious. Kobe time, right? Now, when Shaq Bond, we was like heightened. So what Kobe did was Kobe cry out and tell, uh, I, I think it was Phil. Hey, Phil hey, like, Scully, you, Scully you, 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 you tell it, you preach into the choir. I witnessed it. I, I know okay. exactly what happened. And you see that? We didn't need Casol. When Casol come, Kobe had, Kobe had, he 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 he had, he had, he had, he had, he had, he had, he now, I want, you to show, I want to show you something with LeBron. Yeah, and, and when I finish, when I can LeBron show you came, some of the Lakers, too, and the records in the 70s. No, watch this. When LeBron came, it, the pandemic kicked in, so they had to play in the bubble, right? Right. So he needed, he needed, uh, is Robin. But not only is Robin, he needed some. Now, what happened to the year after, after the bubble? What happened to the year after the bubble? Okay, now, watch this after the bubble. Watch what happened. All of his side kicks them. Because remember, in the first year LeBron got there, we didn't make the playoffs. The second right. year, we made That's the playoffs and won the bubble championship. The Anthony third Davis year, was in there. the third year, what happened? Uh, and, hold on. Anthony Davis was in there. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. The, the first players. year he got there, we didn't make the playoffs. We didn't, no, didn't make the playoffs. 
He didn't make the playoff. I agree with you. With yeah, that. two, we got Davis. We went to the championship and we won in the bubble. Yeah, three. Right. No, we never on. played hold and on. got eliminated. Hold on, Yeah, four. Go ahead. Naughty, hold on. Hold on. Listen. Yet, when, when LeBron, the second year, he get Anthony Davis. Right. But not only Anthony Davis. He had players, a, sup, a supporting cast around him. Right? What fellas with a defense and fellas with good shoot. Right. Now, what happened is, after that, they let go the fellas there. Okay. The supporting cast. They let them go. Now, the other supporting cast what they bring in wasn't up to par. And who was agitating for that new supporting cast? Listen, even, if, even if he agitated for it and the front office allowed it, what's that say about the front office? But it ain't nothing to do you with it. You're putting the blame on They held hostage by the Prima Donna and Clutch no, Sports. No, I'm just trying to show you, Naughty. Naughty, all I'm trying to show you is, right, uh, that once you he get him and Anthony Davis there, but now if the supporting cast ain't playing their role, you can't blame it on LeBron and you can't blame it on yeah, Anthony Davis. No, stop. No one Laker win a championship exactly. by himself. No, 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 that, no that, that, that's fine. That, that's fine. And I, 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 I take, I, I hear what you two LeBron no, no, apologists no, no, are saying. I'm not being a LeBron apologist. But I'm just being a let, me, let me clarify this. I'm, not be, I'm being a realist. Okay, so allow. Don't call me LeBron apologist. Allow me to be a realist. Year one. Are you being a LeBron hater? No, no. I'm being a Laker fan. No, you're being a LeBron hater. No. See, you see, if you're being a Laker fan, there is something good. There is little with LeBron being in that. Allow me to say but it. But you don't say it. No, allow me to say it. We all agree year one in LeBron's existence in LA, we didn't make the playoffs, correct? I'm listening. Skelly, you still there or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Year two, we made the bubble championship after we got AD, correct? Right. Year three. But uh, play in game and we got eliminated. First round. No, we hold it. on. We lost the play in game. Hold on, hold on, Naughty. We got to be fair. Okay. Anthony Davis was hurt. I don't care. You got to care. You got to care. You think if Paul Gasol was in a Kobe was going to the championship? Hold on. I'm not into what happened and the reason. I'm asking what the record shows. No, no, no. You, you got to. You I ain't me. asking the why. You asking Did what the record shows because okay. you have an ulterior motive. So don't no, do no. that. Then don't come with your, so, your analogy at the end if you ain't looking at the total picture. So don't downplay. Now all of a sudden, AD's so important, but when, when we win a championship, you, you, you downplay him now. Downplay, not you. I'm just saying in general. Ain't nobody downplay AD because right, the world back, knows without back, AD, we couldn't win. Back to what I said. Okay. Year one, no playoffs. Year two, bubble championship. Year three, play in game, correct? Go where ahead. We, go ahead. We got beat. Go ahead. Year four, if I'm not mistaken, we didn't even make the playoffs. Last year, Seven seed, I mean, 10 seed or nine seed made the run to the Western Conference Finals. Year six, back in the playing game. So three out of the six years, we in a playing game. Two out of the six years, we didn't even make the playoffs. Okay. So okay. You know, don't do like, right. like he's done so, some so wonder when, in when, L.A. So as a, compared I, to when, when there was downtimes with other people. But, this, you, this, but, this no, no but, you're, still, but you're still taking out it. So, so when Magic and... And uh, got hurt against Boston, and Kareem couldn't take the Lakers. You 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 count that like that too, or you look magic, like, on, so we don't look at what happened. We just know we get beat. Hold we, on, hold on, stop. Barry got the magic. We just know we get beat. Then Pearly. you don't put the caveat that magic got hurt. Pearly, how many times do I say, and I've said on this show, that is one of the most unfair series you'll ever see. The Lakers in in, in that in that championship won every playoff game. And in the practice before the finals, Magic Johnson, Byron Scott pull hamstrings and they get swept by the Pistons. That was nowhere near that top Laker team that could have beat the Pistons again. No, but we never but saw naughty, it. So naughty, without, naughty, without AD, naughty. that but was nowhere near. Listen, stop, that Laker team my had won the championship. Though, my could point do it. is, though, let me finish. Regardless of the injuries, when you look up in the annals of sports history, it just shows the Pistons swept the Lakers four to nothing. Now, us, <laughs> us, Basketball purists will get into the minutiae of it all as to why. Naughty. But right now, Naughty. in his six years in L.A., one championship, three bubble play-ins, where we got, went home once, went to the, to the Western Conference final and the other one. The other one remains to be seen. Two times we didn't make but the playoffs. But shouldn't we, as talks, we shouldn't we be getting in the minutia of why you didn't win it? Naughty. Isn't that's, that what you're to say? Yeah, 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 so so, so your argument does not hold up because no, you got to look at the total picture. Naughty. Okay, and if you look at the total picture, exactly since we get into the minutiae, so hold on, hold on. Exactly like tight. what I said, which you can testify to, because I said it when we was down the road elsewhere on a Sunday, because we only been here two years, and he'd been here six. 
And I got the money. You it. keep hopping on what know. you say. I'm not running away I from that. I said this was going to be for legal Daddy. standards of failure. His, his existence in LA. So, we was going to be have no money at the end, no draft picks, and he's going to be in a problem. And he's heading right for that. Daddy. So, I'll, you know, and Skippy, I can say I told you also. Naughty, hold on. So, what does that change? Right? Nothing, he's still sucking. He's still in bargain. You're talking about the sweep and piston sweep Lakers? Correct. Okay. That ain't the first time. I'm not saying it was the first time. You're missing my point. The Texas sweepers too. Hold on, you missing Bo, my you missing Bo, Bo. you missing my point. We're a full team. Hold on, Scully. Uh, Understand my point that I was making. What's I that? never said the Lakers were never swept. I never said that. So I by, know you ain't say that, but so, I'm so saying. So by you bringing that point up, I know we were swept in '83 by the by the '76ers. My your point, point is, your point is, you're blaming LeBron on everything bad about the Lakers. It's I, all because of him. We are at where we are today. I am saying and that, I'm saying that LeBron is, Tanya in LA was going to be mediocre or a fa- mediocre at best or a failure. Well, look at it now. It's mediocre at best, borderline failure. No, but the record says he got puts us at the at, at the top of how many championships the Lakers get. We could call it bubble, rubble, or tubble. It's still a championship, and I don't know why we run a bubble. The only difference, no, because no fans said determines whether you win. You playing the same players. All right. So let's don't do that. What about well, if then we take, so then if you're going to argue like that, then Boston got more records than us. That's what you want to say? I would say that. No, yeah. no, because that don't. Now that, you can that, take it any which way you can take it. No, because it. we're arguing bubble, but 50 years from now, anybody even remember there's a bubble. The only said the Lakers Fine. get 30 we, we some got, championships. But he's got one in six years. It doesn't matter. Give me one. For the magnitude the Lakers of the greatness got 17. Of, of he was supposed to bring to this team, one is a failure. Hey, but, uh, with all the hype and all the circumstances and all of that. Hold on, Skip. Let me ask you this question now. Let me ask you this question. You're saying that we should gut the team, and how long you going to be patient with this team? A new gut team. I mean, how long you can give them before you start cussing them and calling them dirty names? Purdy, you have to give, if you're going to commit to a rebuild, you got to give them patience two, three years. Okay, so after three years, you and your patience gone. I'm I thinking, just want to put you on the record because I want you to say I told you so. I'm thinking, yeah, like I told you so, but this, that's fine. I, I, I want that. I want you to have that feeling too. Because don't, don't let me forget. I, I said the Super Bowl was gonna play out the same way too. But leave Naughty Damas alone. Don't, don't talk about my streak. Um, you also said that the, the Yankees were gonna win the World Series last year. Let's and you also that. said the Dodgers was gonna. No, win but I don't brag there. about my streak. You say it every I day. don't have a streak. You bragging about your streak, but you're you picking them two streaks. Had a streak. Well, I do, but I don't. One streak you got. I don't. Hey, 1971 Dolphins. <laughs> that's the only damn streak you got. And that, nobody and the, and nobody else got that streak. Nobody else got that streak. Hey, Naughty. Nobody else got that. Nobody else got that. Go ahead. Let me finish. There's some little clarity on. Now, the other thing you all was talking about was uh, concerning the, the, tree t- the three-way tie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Here it is now, right? Lakers in 10. Right? No, no. Lakers in ninth. In no, ninth. Lakers in ten. Actually, the Lakers are tied for eighth. No, listen, Bailey. Lakers in ten. Warriors in ninth. And Tingerman. Uh, all them got the same record. All right, they got, got the they, same they, record. But record. watch this. Uh, Tingham beat Lakers. Got Lakers the tie ain't win none with Sacramento. Sacramento get more wins on uh, the Warriors. We said the that Warriors get more breaker. win on us. No, what no, that? we got more on the Warriors. I the mean, wa- I talk about, like, when I listen to what they talk about. We own the tiebreaker on the Warriors. No. Skella, I'm trying uh, to tell you. You know when the tiebreaker would have been? The tiebreaker would have been if, if Anthony Davis had played yesterday. I don't know why he ain't played. Skella, let me break it down to if you. If he didn't play and we win, then we had a better record All than right, Warriors. Let, let me explain how this works. So, right. you partially right if it was two teams tied. But if you go and you have three teams tied, you can't go head to head no more. You gotta go conference record. Listen. So the Kings got a better conference no, record. Actually, the Kings got a record against the Lakers and a better the record Kings against the Warriors. Get a better so conference still record in the Lakers, right? right? And, and the Kings get a better better conference record and Warriors. So what I'm trying to tell you is that Warriors have a better uh, conference record and the Lakers. Right now, watch this. If the Lakers win out and both of them lose, then the Lakers get a better record than them. Because they're winning, they're winning, but uh, they're winning thing up will be better than their own. Lakers will be a game ahead of them in the win column. So they, that's when the Lakers will drop the eight place. Okay. If the two of them lose, all they got to do is lose one game. But if the Lakers win out, wow, we will be in eight place. 
And then we would face the Timberwolves in the first round in Minnesota. No, we ain't gonna face the Timberwolves. Who we gonna we face? We gotta make sure we play uh, that the, the fair one seed and beat that fair one seed. And if we beat the fair one seed, then we will play uh, OKC. And, 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 and that still ain't no good selection to have right now. Why? They ain't been a game with us in the regular season. Buddy, don't worry about that. That team is young and talented and ready to go. Yes, I know that. But, hey, well, Naughty, you got to learn our basketball, you know. Yeah. You don't lay your hard the cross your head, don't say the right no, no, thing. No, 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 hold on. Don't lay your hard cross your head, say the wrong thing. We okay. own OKC all I mean, season. And how many Naughty. times you've seen the team own them in the regular season, go to the Naughty. playoffs and Naughty. different story? Listen both sides. Naughty, listen to that. Let me, let, me, let me bring up one that comes no. to mind yeah, recently. Yeah, but don't lay your hard cross your head. Houston Rockets and Utah Jazz. Remember Mario Alley yeah, from the caller? Yeah, yeah, right. but, then, right. yeah, but there's, right. there's also teams that have swept and continue sweeping. So you can pick out one or two like that has happened. Naughty, I can give you. I'll tell you this right now. I tell you this right now, they face the Nuggets or the Timberwolves, any combination hey, Naughty. first round, they gone. Naughty, I could give you three That's what games. We said last year. I could give you three games, Naughty. What in in uh and when in, they bug down what up a better ra- a better Sweet, bracket than right? us? I could give you three games. Brew them out, right? When they bug down huh? right? Go ahead. Naughty, I could give you three games. We'll have a better record than us right now. And if we buck up to them, we will beat them. Who? One, listen. One, OKC. I agree. Two, uh, the the ten, uh, what they name again? Timberwolves. They are Timberwolves. And the next one is uh, Pelicans. Them same three games. If they if we play them in the playoffs, I give you the Pelicans right now. I give you the jury is still out on OKC, and I give you heck no to the Timberwolves. Timberwolves is the best one. Listen to me, we have beat the Timberwolves three times, Naughty. <laughs> you ain't listening to that. Yeah. Naughty, what you dealing with? The Timberwolves hey, have not Naughty, made great basketball since Cat gone out. The game with the Timberwolves beat us with, Anthony Davis ain't playing that game. Yeah, and the games that you beat the Timberwolves, Cat, will, Cat Thingham didn't play in two of them games either, called Anthony Towns. And he's, not, and he's still not there for the players, so they have a problem. The Timberwolves but, but, but scrapping. Probably, I don't think they should be a problem. They're 55 and 25. I don't see them scrapping. I, I don't see them scrapping, What is, what is that, what they last record in the last 25 games? Now you could look that up. But I, I, I wouldn't call 55 and 25 one game out of the top seed scrapping. But this is the team that was way out front. And that's, and that's yeah, but they've, they've, they've maintained. Let's be honest. They were the number one team by a plenty early in the year. Correct. And since Cat went down, they've, they've been run down and been fighting for first. When they were almost all out winning almost a month ago, had the, had the record to clinch it. Well, let me, I got another call coming, so let me get, let me pull, I can pull up Minnesota in a second, but, but Skiller, just for your sake, um, Kareem got there in 75. They went 40 and 42 in 75. He came midway through 75. 76, 77, they went 53 and 29. 77 and 78, they went 45 and 37. 78 and 79, 47 and 35. And they made the playoffs every year. Winning percentage of well, um, 646, 549, 573. Then, of course, 1979 and 80. Well, that, that changed things inevitably. 60 and 22. That's when magic then 54 came. and 28, That's 57 and 25. That's when magic right, but listen to all of that. L- listen, even to 91, 92, when we was bad, 43 and 39. 92, 93, when Magic announced the thing, I'm 39 and 43. So you look at the legacy and you look at my point about Lego basketball. Perennially, we are winners with top seeds going in. Where were they top seeds? Okay. Uh, you where, don't... Were them 43 and some were not top seeds? No, no, no. I'm not talking about the 39 and 43. I'm talking about 58 and 24, yeah, 63 were, and 19, yeah, 57, two, yeah. 25, 62 yeah. and 20, magic, 65, 72, and 62 and 20, 62 that's and 20. The, that's when the Lakers had the team. And that's in the 80s. And, and, that's I, when and the, I can go that's to the 90s too. the superstars and the supporting guys. The yeah, Michael but don't, Coopers, don't say, don't say when, when Kareem got guys. there, the Lakers was dead for years because the three years he got there before Magic, Three and a half years he got there before Magic. They all they were winning teams and they made the playoffs. What record? Where did they finish? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. They finished, I think, eight, seven, six, seven, or eighth in those records. Well, I, I, they don't have the season. I'll pull up the season, but I'm telling you the records right now. 76, 75, 76, listen, he got there midway listen, through. We all agree, at least you and I agree, that LeBron should be gone. I agree with that. I right now would like to see the Lakers trade LeBron to Cleveland, let him go play with Bronny over there, trade AD, pick up some draft picks, pick up some cap space. Get rid of some of them, them has-been players All right. and dig it up. But I'm just asking you, because I want on the record 
how many years you can give the Lakers to be a donkey non-playoff lotto? Well, I, I give him six years because he's a donkey. Six I, years? Hold on, you gave LeBron no, experience man, six no, years? No, 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 but at least we were, even though we had to play in, we had playoffs. At least you can say the Lakers in the playoffs. But you two times say, we didn't make the playoffs either. It doesn't matter. Four, we did. So you can tell me for six years, you can. Early. No, hold on. You now you've done that one and done elimination after the you championship tell playoff me, run. It doesn't matter to me. It was a playoff game. Okay. You gonna tell me you gonna you prefer to relax for six years without a playoff play? Six years? Listen, you gotta be kidding me. I said we gave LeBron six years, right? You may ask back. That ain't my question to you. You prepared to wait six years for a playoff play? You prepared to wait. Let's say it all happens today. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. You prepared to wait till 9, 20, 31 to see the Lakers in the playoffs? I doubt no, that. No, not, not in the playoffs. You said how long will I give them? I said I could give them six years. That don't mean without being in the playoffs. That means match uh, maturing right, and getting improved right. over the six years. All right, let years. me ask you a question. How long you can give the Lakers being on a playoff drought and how long you can Three give them years. and being on a championship drought? Three years for the playoffs, four to five for the championship because you got to put it together. You so you're actually, saying... You prepared to win 2030 for a Laker championship. Pearly, if you say got the Lakers, you know full well. I, uh, hold is, on. If you say got the Lakers, you know full well it can take a year or two to even. Listen to me. I am a fan. It don't matter to me. I actually, my, you know, two teams above. I'm Lakers, my number three team. Dodgers, Dolphins, Lakers. Let's get that right. Right. All so right. And, at and the LSU, end of the day. If, if, if Angel said LSU, she might have pulled up the number three. <laughs> at the end of the day. The bottom line is. I'm, you got to give them time. If, if it's a case of we rebuilding and I'm watching them mature and make improvements and get to the playoffs and go on. But there's no one guarantee thing. that can happen. If it's a straight drought, then three years. There's no guarantee you can see that maturity either. There's no guarantee. There. Ain't no guarantee I can see anything with this crown yeah, here you, doing no, food. The point is that this one is way out. This is about finish. Talking heads. Talking heads. All right. And anyway. I think we should call ESPN, you know. Anyway, we got, Rich, sing, sing we, we got Rich Eisen taking us home. So let's get to the break, Mr. Producer, and that'll give us the right amount of time for Rich Eisen to get us home today. And Rich Eisen talking about everything today. He covering a lot of things. Yeah. Just know the Dodgers can beat the Padres tonight. That's all. All right. So we want you to have a great weekend, man. Be safe out there. Be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. And we'll see you back here Monday. For Talking Heads, all right? And, of course, Rich Eisen taking us home fully loaded on the flip side. Uh, talking uh, a possible Tom Brady return. I saw that interview, and he actually said he doesn't, he, he actually said, I, I, I would be open to it. Yep. He but as, like an he owner playing, though, as an owner playing, as an owner playing. I'm talking about Dak Tour, the Knicks, the Mavericks, and the Masters. That's all coming up on the flip side of the break, taking into the weekend. Tiger we'll see you Monday right here on Talking Heads. Tiger made the cut. Are you ready for the best of the best? Keep the Vibe Alive Music Group up for sound promotion. And Guardian Radio presents the best of the best Rake and Script Explosion Concert. Mark your calendars for May 11th as Super Club Braces Grounds Ignite with Bahamian Talent. Featuring KB, Gino D, Funky D, Veronica Bishop, The Brylanders, Avi, Elon Moxie, and Shine242. Join the Falcons, Iron Storm, Dovi Pierre, Johnny Cake, Mama D, she LS, Pat Ramy, Stevie S, and Shad Collie, and the VIPs for an electrifying night of music and culture. Tickets are flying, so grab yours now. Available online at BahamasEtickets.com or swing by the Beauty Shack on Soldier Road and Carmichael Road. This is the event of the year. The best of the best rake and scrape explosion at Breezes Resorts. Gates open at 6 p.m. Don't miss out on the Bahamian magic. Maybe it's time to explore your options. There's no harm in reviewing your mortgage arrangement and considering a better deal. CIBC Caribbean can help you narrow your search and decide. Switch your mortgage to CIBC Caribbean and enjoy a special interest rate and help towards your switching cost. Visit CIBCFCIB.com forward slash inspired home for more information. Conditions apply. CIBC, 
excitement, the fierce competition, the entertainment. On May 4th and 5th, our Bahamian athletes will compete with hundreds of the best from around the world to secure their spot in the Paris Olympics. Gardner takes the title. Come witness history as our athletes chase the sun from paradise to Paris at the 2024 World Athletic Relays. May 4th and 5th at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. Get your tickets now at worldrelaysbahamas24.org or at the Andre Rogers Baseball Stadium box office. Made exactly the way they should be by someone with chicken in their name. The new Kentucky Chicken Sandwiches feature a quarter pound of all white meat, triple breaded, spicy chicken breast filet on a freshly toasted buttery brioche bun. With your choice of lettuce, tomato, bacon, thick cut pickles, and the perfect amount of Colonel's real mayo or spicy sauce. Every chicken sandwich is freshly prepared and piping hot. Kentucky Fried Chicken Sandwiches, the only chicken sandwiches that are finger licking good. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Play with Island Games, we making dreams come true. Play with Island Games, we paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market, you get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games, we put in Bahamian's voice, guaranteed to play Island Games. We like them mother jokers, we've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island Games, we can make your dream come true. We playing with Island Games. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at CancerCenter.com. Whether you like it hot or you enjoy being original, KFC has the only chicken sandwiches with attitude, featuring 100% extra large white meat chicken fillets for 100% flavor. Enjoy the famous flavor of KFC 11 herbs and spices in the KFC Original Recipe Burger. Or take the heat up a notch with a spicy fillet with our KFC Kentucky Deluxe Sandwich. And for a limited time, enjoy your favorite sandwich with fries for only $7. That's how it's done. KFC Nassau, it's finger licking good. John on Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. You will find what you're looking for among the growing collection of classic and trendy styles with new arrivals every week. John's covers the whole family and has great prices, helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience shopping with us will be time well spent. Shop with us online at www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on into John's located on Rosetta Street in Palmdale and Carmichael Road West. John's, we put fashion and your feet. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Guardian. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. What? What's more likely? Never say never, but never. All right, Christopher, you've got the floor. What do you have over there? All right, hey guys, what's up? Happy Friday. Same Everybody to you, hey, same to you. Shout out to T. Rowe Price. Hey, shout out to T. Rowe Price. Shout out to the YouTubers. What's up? All right, let's do it. <laughs> NFL draft, two weeks. Yes. All right. What's more likely, the top five teams as they currently are keep their picks or both the Cardinals and Chargers trade down? Um, I will say the order stays the, the order stays <laughs> like before. Oh, top five, no movement. That is more likely than the Cardinals and Chargers trading out. Mm. It, 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 let's just say the Cardinals trade out, right? That's for a fourth quarterback to be taken in a row. Right. That's right? McCarthy. Correct. Or, or Which or means the Chargers sit there and they're like, oh, so we've got the first pick in the draft for somebody who's not a quarterback. They'll use it. They'll use it. They'll take Marvin Harrison Jr. and run. Ooh. I think. They don't need to trade out My and goodness. get more draft choices. They need they somebody. They also need players. They also need a wide receiver, don't you think? And let's take the top one. 
They got Marvin Harrison Jr. dropping their their lap after Was letting Kirby? letting Mike Williams walk and willingly trading away Keenan Allen. And they, I I would be surprised. And if the, you know, so the Cardinals trading out would be the one first. That would be for quarterback, which means the Chargers stay put. So it's more likely that everybody stays put. That the Vikings decide it's too far to come up from eleven, and they'll just stay put. And then maybe the Chargers wind up trading out. So somebody could beat the Giants for J.J. McCarthy. So what you're saying, Quentin Johnson and Marvin Harrison on the same squad? What That's what that? I'm saying. Ooh, nice some weapons. Some nice weapons fun. for her. So it's more likely that everybody stays put than both the Cardinals and Chargers trade out. I don't, I don't know why, if the Cardinals trade out, why the Chargers then would. All right. Unless somebody goes godfather offer for Marvin. But I don't see that as likely. What else, Chris? Okay. Uh, another NFL draft one here. How about this? What's more likely? There are more quarterbacks taken in the top 10 or tackles and wide receivers combined in the top 10. What's the higher number? Quarterbacks in the top 10, tackles and wide receivers combined top 10. I'll give you. Um, don't say push. I, I, I have to. I think there's no, four quarterbacks the in the answer. top That's 10. Not and the I option. think the option is <laughs> and quarterbacks three receivers go in the top 10 and Joe Alt goes and tackles. Um, then I will say tackles and receivers in the top 10. You don't see four quarterbacks? Well, four quarterbacks in the top 10, for I, sure. I, I, I think we will. But uh, so I think it's going to wind up even. I see five I think tackles. I see f- I, two, def- two defenders? I see. The two defensive players go in the top 10? Um, if it's four and four? No, I see Brock Bowers, mm-hmm. Dallas oh, Turner, Bowers. Yeah. and then four and four. I see. That's my right now prediction 13 days before the draft. Brock Bowers, 10. Dallas Turner, 8 to Atlanta. And the rest are receivers and tackles and quarterbacks. That's why I see the top 10 going. Interesting. The Jets better take Brock Bowers, man. <laughs> take him. A tackle. You need to protect Rodgers. We, we, we just we got his because Dallas went all in. Can't have enough linemen. I know, and we got we, we the Jets hit the line in free agency to free up their ability to take whoever they want in the tenth overall pick. So there's that. Mm. Give Rogers Brock Bowers. What else, Chris? All right. By the way, he can he can block too, right? You seen Georgia football? Uh, That's not his forte. Uh, not his forte. But guess what? Great if he's if trip. he's like the next Kittle, Kittle can pancake. That's true. What else? How about this one? Mm-hmm. We heard from Tom Brady. We heard of Tom Brady uh, likes to win a Super Bowl. What's more likely to happen first? Tom Brady throws another NFL pass in any game. And then whatever else you're about to say. Or Josh Allen throws a pass in the Super Bowl. Ooh, we. Josh Allen throws another pass. Throws a pass in the Super Bowl. What's the matter with you? What are you talking about? What is the likelihood of Tom Brady throwing another pass in the NFL right now? Dude. Get out He almost played for the 49ers last year. I know you like ripping on the bills i know you like to think that the bills are just gonna rip out the hearts of everybody from western new york again i know you think that the bills because of what uh, they've they done they at gotta, the receiver they position they and how they hit all of these cap hits right now that the window of opportunity is closed for josh allen as if josh is 40 years old himself get out of here with that noise i believe as i said earlier and i'll repeat here for the crowd that is just surfing in for what's more likely I think Tom's playing four-dimensional chess. Hey, listen. Hey. You guys in the NFL that think I can't come back and try and beat you, and you want me to show up? Guess how you take my piece off the chessboard? By making me a minority owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. So why don't you do that? Because that's what I'm really looking for. So I can do that and then go in the Fox booth. Like, I'm going to be paid a mint for that. Like, you think he wants to get hit? No, sir. Yeah, but is Josh Allen going to make a Super Bowl? <laughs> no, okay, very good. Very because good. See, he just go, uh, go, he'll always go back to that no. default. Very nice. Okay. Chances are. You could say that for the rest of his career, he's got, he will not make a Super Bowl. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying a lot of great players never played in the Super Bowl. I understand that, Chris. So yeah, like Dak Prescott. And I don't think Josh Allen's going to be one oh, of those man. players. Speaking of Dak Prescott. Oh, oh nice geez. segue. I, I which, co- just it, didn't I? Uh, which quarterback <laughs> is more likely to be in a make-or-break season in 2024? <laughs> Dak or Tua. So, what do you mean? Uh, Make or break season. Meaning what? Make or break. What's the break? <laughs> the break. Is They're not gone. with the team anymore. You're gone from the yeah, team. Maybe. 
then I'll go with the guy who's going into his final year of his contract with the Dallas Cowboys. They're going all in on him. I'm a, I don't know if you're aware. All in. Two is not going anywhere. Two is the quarterback of the Miami Dolphins. Until, uh, until when? Um, for a while. For a good long while. You heard what Teron Armstead. A good long while. Did you not hear what Teron Armstead said on Thursday? Team likes him. Team believes in him. The coach loves him. Yeah. What are they going to go? What, what are they going to go back and they're going to go free agent and pay somebody more than what Tua wants right now? Go back in the draft. Like who, go back in the draft. Oh man, Arch We're, Manning might look great in Miami. Oh God, yeah. guys haven't even played it down in Texas yet. They Listen to this make, guy. They make it I like when he boxes else. himself in and what's more likely or an overreaction money. He just starts trying to throw some darts <laughs> to get to find the daylight to get out of it. Dak Prescott is darts. legitimately in a make or break season as we are conversing right now. Okay, this guy has no more time left on his contract. And the Dallas Cowboys sense of all in is to make sure that he feels the pressure with the roster that they have and the roster that they have. You know what? I mean, uh, honestly, uh, they've, they've gone all in on on supplementing this roster. There it is. <laughs> There's the NFL.com free agency tracker. How is that the only people you Five signed? people. Five of them, and four of them re-signed. No Eric Kendricks is the only newcomer. Oh my God. That's right. So the uh, tote board of the the uh, of, uh, of Jerry. See, this is just five is still. Cause me to curse into this mic. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's less pie. Don't do it. There's so much fun. Chris. All right, a couple more. Um, who's more likely to make a sneak NBA here to make a sneaky run to the conference finals?